Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to video tutorial number two for the In Santa's Hands multi-layer digital background Photoshop file by LSP. In this tutorial, I'm going to move fast. It is a fast demonstration. If you would like to watch the complete step-by-step -step tutorial that will suit beginners as well as those uh, more used to Photoshop, please watch video one. In this video, I'm going to be using the LSP Newborn Digital Background Photoshop actions to help me apply the baby. These actions do not come with the digital background because you can um, you can apply by hand if you want to. But if you want to get these digital Photoshop actions, um, they will really help you apply baby fast. So I'm just resizing baby him. It's really I'm so sorry if you can hear any noise in the background. That is my one-year-old twins uh, being a little bit noisy in the next room playing with their brother and sister. So the light in the digital comes from the right. So you need to make sure if you light from the left with your light camera left that you right click and flip horizontal to add baby in. You're going to want to resize baby to nestle in Santa's hand here. Obviously the size you make baby really does depend um, on the age of a baby. For a newborn, uh, body length of a newborn is about the length um, from wrist to elbow, forearm kind of length there. But of course, if they're curled up, they're going to be a little bit smaller. So you want to resize baby here to nestle nicely in Santa's hand. Santa's hand is actually above the layer where you add baby. You can learn all about this in, um, in video one. So I'm just going to position her about there. This image was shot by Anna Brandt in her uh, Tustin studio and it's absolutely gorgeous. You want to make sure that you've edited baby first, edited baby's skin, removed any blemishes, balanced your lighting out. Baby's shot in a white background will work a little better for this um, digital, but there's no reason why you can't use a baby shot in a dark background. You're just going to have to work a little bit harder on your cutout and making sure baby's not got too much of a dark outline. So I'm just masking baby here and you can see here there is a layer mask. Black means hide, white means show, so I'm using a white brush. Don't need to worry too much about what's underneath the baby, just about what's showing on the image. You can see this baby was shot on a kind of a mid-tone background. That is not too dark at all, so I'd recommend um, not shooting baby on a really dark background for this one. And that's really all there is to it when adding to this digital. So there's before and after for baby. You can, of course, add additional baby editing layers. Up here where the hand is, let me just drag this open a little bit. You can open this drop down group here. And you'll notice there is another hand you can add in that goes above baby. You can see some of Santa's fluff will go over baby. So you need to hold down control or command. Click on the layer mask of your baby layer. This will make a selection of the baby you've cut out and now you can simply come up here onto the layer mask of the hand above baby grab a black brush and just paint that away you have some shading here in the hand over babe you can add a white brush to add a little bit more shading in if you want to just color that in make sure it doesn't come out of Santa's hand there we go so when you nest baby here in between Santa base layer and Santa's hand you get this amazing effect of baby being in Santa's hand with all the shadows already there you simply need to cut out around here you can open up the background group here and you can choose one of four backgrounds grey texture magic the window and the tree or if you want you can add your own background in here you can see Santa is transparent meaning you can add your own background in I'd recommend adding a pale background. And that's all there is to it. So that is using the LSP in Santa's hands multi-layer digital background for Photoshop. This is available at www.lsp-actions.com.